Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Uh, the town and the city. I read on your website that the common theme among the songs was the immigrant experience. As, as songwriters, we, we write about our own experience. And so obviously, you know, from where we come from in our backgrounds, that the immigrant experience looms largely, you know. Uh, so it's, it's part of it. I think it, it's part of this, this story, but it's not the overriding theme. So who does the writing? How does that uh, get Three distributed? Right here. The, right That's here. Three, yeah. And do you, do you work mm -hmm. individually and then sort of collaborate? Or yeah, I usually start on individually and then we kind of uh, yeah. put it together afterwards. You know. On one song, for example, you might all, all work on the one same song? Or do you get no, each you, usually they, they, but Usually they, Dave and uh, Louis mm -hmm. eventually we, work we together. We write together and, and Caesar and I writes. Do, I write them. So how would you mm -hmm. say the styles differ between you two and yourself? Well, people have often said over the years that I do the more like the bluesier numbers or something, but mm -hmm. That used to be, and I, I think things are changing a little bit now. He writes more the bluesier numbers, and I write more like the stuff in Spanish as yeah. well. And I write the more like in sync kind of pop tunes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got that on that album. Because he's got the moves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Oh, well, show us your Come moves. On. Yeah. Come on. So, yeah. how did you all start to jam together? Uh, just rock and you know rock and roll kids around the neighborhood. We were, we were at Garfield in Garfield High School back then. There was a lot of just a lot of musicians, a lot of garage bands, mm -hmm. and we just come from that. You know, we were growing up listening to Jimi Hendrix and The Stones and what have you. You know, you know. and uh, I had a I had an R and B band and stuff, and Dave and Louie had a rock band and stuff. And I find it so interesting that you played Mexican folk music, but then you also infiltrated the punk scene in L.A. How did that happen? Well, well we were big fans of of the L.A. punk scene. You know, we. We loved, we, you know, Los Lobos, you know, we'd play all kinds of music and mm -hmm. it, we're, we're also big fans of all sorts of anything that's good. And during that time we were fans of the local punk, punk scene and especially this group, the Blasters and X and, and um, Was there a lot of cross-pollination at that time? Yeah, there was. There it, was, was, it, was it was pretty yeah. wide open and I think we felt it was uh, a good opportunity to try to get to a, a different audience. You know, we'd been playing weddings and stuff on the east side, and it was getting old, and thought, well, we're gonna give it a shot, now's the time, so. Yeah, but we kinda... also became, then we became, we were a folk band first for about nine, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Strictly acoustic, and then we just decided to start to pl you know, plug back in, mm -hmm. and uh, we started writing that way. This was our, really our beginnings, and writing our own music, we started there, you know. Okay, now there is a sound which I'm not familiar with, so if you could explain also for our audience, cumbia. Mm -hmm. um, we hear that on the album. Tell us how you define that particular sound. Well, it originates, uh, it comes from uh, Colombia. It, eventually it, 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 it went over to East LA, you know, and so it's been a, a dancing sort of rhythm over the years. If I wanted to target it, sort of find, find it in the album, what sound should I be looking for? Well, it's it's kind of, it's kind of it's more like the rhythm, that kind of thing, you know. So you want to dance to it? Yeah, Definitely. absolutely. We'll have more Los Lobos when Breakfast with the Arts returns. Mm -hmm.